so you want to learn how to create these three viral effects in Premiere Pro, well stick around because I'm about to break it down step by step. No introduction needed, let's get right into it. So we'll be using Premiere Pro, but you can create this in basically any editing software. I got my clip right here of Lil Baby. It's a three second clip. So what I'll be doing is duplicating this, Control C, Control V, and then put the duplication above the first clip. Now we got both our clips playing at the same time. So what I'll be doing is hitting it right up here to the pen tool and create the mask. So I'll zoom out a little bit to 25% and then right around the middle, I'll create a horizontal mask like this. Try to get it just as clean as possible in the middle. And now that I masked out my subject, if I hide the bottom layer, you can tell that they're separated. I saw this effect in the Isaiah TG I Eat Humans music video, so shout out to whoever edited that music video. So what I'll do now is go a few frames in, like right here, and then cut both of my clips. And then right when the cut starts, I'll be speeding up my clip. So go to speed and duration and then speed up the clip to like 140%. And then it should be sped up to something like that. It's a cool effect and you can mix it with a lot of different effects like for example if i create a new adjustment layer then just drag it onto my timeline cut it right there and add on a posterized time i'm pretty sure i should get some cool looks let's turn down the frame rate between 8 and 12. this is pretty low for my clips so i'll actually turn it up to 12 and boom just like that it looks great and let's hop right into the next effect all right for this next effect i got four different clips in place i mean i got five different clips in place and what I'll be doing is dragging on an adjustment layer to my scene just like this and then just cut up my adjustment layer in a few different parts. So now I got a few different parts for my adjustment layer and what I'll be doing is heading right up to presets. I got my essential hits and movements pack. If I open up the flash tab, I got 25 presets here with flash and 25 without flash. And basically what these presets do is they create some crazy hits into your music videos. You can tell right here in the, in the original music video, they already used a hit. But I'll spice it up even more with my presets. So what I'll start off by doing is picking a preset. And I'll start with a zoom out. And they are 8 frames long, so I just gotta count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And cut my adjustment layer at 8 frames. And then simply just drag on this preset. Just like that, I have a really smooth zoom out hit. I can just duplicate this adjustment layer, remove any of the effects. And if I want a vertical hit right here in the middle of the scene, let's say that it's a crazy beat hit right here. All I gotta do is just simply drag on this vertical hit 1. And then boom, just like that, I have a really smooth hit. Let's create a hit right here at the end as well. So I'll copy this. So I'll copy this adjustment layer once again, paste it over here and let's remove all of the effect. And I'll add on a zoom hit, which is 10 frames long. So I'll extend my adjustment layer and just drag on this zoom hit one with flash. And just like that, I have a sick zoom hit. Like that one looks crazy. And if we want to have something a little bit smoother for the start of this clip, because sometimes you don't just want it to start just like that when you just had a crazy zoom hit. So then you can add on one of these horizontal or vertical hits or just a zoom out. Let's try on a zoom out, but without flash this time, it's a little bit too much flash right now. I'll actually go for a horizontal hit without flash and they're all 10 frames long. So I'll just simply drag out this adjustment layer to 10 frames and just drag on this horizontal hit. And just like that, I have a hit right there. Now for the last frame of this scene, I want to add another one of these sick hits. I don't know which one to use last time, but I'll go for the zoom hit 3 this time. And it looks like that, which is absolutely sick. And then I'll cut this adjustment layer for this clip to 8 frames. So I'll go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 1, 2, 3. I can't even count. 1, fuck. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Just like that. And then drag on this fast shake 3. And just like that. Boom. That's fucking crazy. I love that one. And best thing about these is they don't require any paid plugins and they're available for Premiere Pro and After Effects. So make sure to check the link in the description for a discount code and the link to the pack. And let's get right into the second effect. I mean, let's get right into the third effect. And the final effect is this insane kind of match cut. I'm not really sure what to call it, but it's pretty easy to make and looks absolutely crazy. So the first thing that I did was just cut out a few different clips where I can see my subject pretty clearly. And what I'll be doing next is creating a few adjustment layers where I zoom in on his face. And you should do the same with your clips. So let's just drag on an adjustment layer just because I love these. First thing you should do is actually add on a transform effect. Just go to effects and search up transform. And when you got this transform, you just drag it onto your adjustment layer. And then you can cut it for the few different clips that you got. Just like this. And then you just mess with the transform to have your subject's face like in the center. So I'll just zoom in and mess with the position and try to keep his face in the center. And still not zoom in too much, something like this. And then you can keep then you can keep in the position because you might have to move it to keep his face centered. It, it's not it's not even too hard. Just go in like five to ten frames and then move it. 
and then do it once again. You can also zoom in a little bit. So keyframe the scale, drag the keyframe back and then just zoom in. Move the position to have his face in the center, just like this. And I'll actually cut my clip right here because I don't want my clips to be too long. And for this next scene right here, I'll do the exact same thing. Like it's not even hard, you should get the point. And I don't even got to go through what I do at this point. You should get what you're supposed to do. So just keep going. And I'll show you guys what effects we'll add on next in a second. So now after zooming in all of the clips, it looks something like this. It's pretty boring and I feel like this clip is way too long. So I'll actually cut it right here. So what I'll do next is so what I'll do next is drag in a new adjustment layer on top of the other adjustment layers. And to this one I'll add on a posterized time effect. Hey, you heard that shit? That means someone was just smart enough to go click the link in the description and buy one of the packs. So shout out to you, Ariana from France. Uh, shout out to you. If you're listening right now, check the link in the description after we're done with this effect. So I'll add on a posterized time effect. This just changes the frame rate. So we'll drag this down to like 12 and see what it looks like. And I'll actually turn down the posterized time to 8 frames. And then what I want to do is add on a radial blur. And you actually need a plugin to create this. Unless you have After Effects, then all you got to do is just select all of this. And then go to File, Adobe Dynamic Link, and replace with After Effects Composition. And then just add on a radial blur in After Effects. But since I'm already in Premiere Pro, I'll just use this plugin. Because you don't need any plugins in After Effects to add on this radial blur, which will create this effect. And with the and with the posterized time that creates that kind of stop motion look with the radial blur, it will look absolutely insane. As long as you've kept your subject in the middle, then your clip should look as good as mine. And as a final touch, we can also add on a vignette. Once again, you need a plugin to add this on in Premiere Pro. And to add that vignette on, I gotta drag on another adjustment layer so it doesn't mess with the posterized time. And then I'll just turn up the radius a little bit to like 1.1. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And check the link right now in the description to instantly level up your edits with all of my preset packs and assets. That's it for today. Follow my Instagram for a lot of more sauce and updates. And I'll see you guys in the next one.